Yeah, they're all about just we're just not trying to do video here. Just, <laughs> people that aren't just watching, just just waiting for you, man. Jungle mother fucking beats. We're here with Christopher Palmer. Yo, Christopher Palmer's an artist. Christopher Palmer, aka Hudson, aka Hudson writes raps. Hudson writes raps. Um, and pretty much is a very integral part to us being here today. Um, so please show him some love and respect. Check his music out. Also check out us on social media, Instagram, <laughs> Twitter. You can't forget about no, that. You can't forget the M motherfucker being the shit. Oh, we're just gonna we can do something a little different. Um, mm -hmm. Chris, you had a great idea uh, to you want, you want to just bring up the topic. Yeah. Um, well, no, it was actually Alex. I was oh, really, man, I was really take credit. I was like, nah, take it, man. Oh, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. So Alex, so Alex turned to me. He was he was on, he was sitting on Reddit on his phone, and he was like, "What's a guilty pleasure rapper? Like what like what's a rapper that you like wouldn't admit that you like, but you like bump to when no one's around." And like we were gonna discuss it, and then uh, Alex and Alex was like, "Nah, we should do this as a video." And, and now here we are. <laughs> here we are. Well, we also came to the conclusion like there's not really such thing as a guilty pleasure because it depends on other people's perspectives. Yeah. So like if we both could think like if Chris says something weird like oh why that then that's sort of a guilty pleasure but in general it's not. Really. But like mainstream considers them uh, maybe. Yeah. Mm. But it definitely depends on the people you hang out with the most because they're the ones going to be judging. You. Yeah. Or. All the, all the people listening. People want to so um, I've been thinking about it, and um, I think mine, I know you might not think it's a guilty pleasure, but like it's gotten to a stage where they've gotten a lot of hype around them, where they're just a lot of fan people now. Suicide Boys. I don't understand why they're a guilty pleasure. If you look at their fan base now, their fan base is getting massive, and like a lot of people on the internet, if you say you're a fan of Suicide Boys, they instantly just put you in this box of, oh, you like this type of rap. Like you like this really yeah. hype, like even like the artists like Poo you're now getting put into there. Like there are people that are like sound very similar and Suicide Boys are sort of leading that squad. Okay. Yeah. So if I if I set it around certain people around in America or in certain like threads, they just instantly put me as, oh, this is you're that type of fan. Interesting. But I've been listening to them for fucking ages, so I <laughs> okay. love these guys. But that's that's kind of what I'm feeling. I wasn't expecting that. And don't forget guys, I, we wanna actually hear. Comment below if guilty you have a guilty pleasure guilty pleasure artist. Or a track, um, just just anything. We're, we're going through okay. we're going through everything here. E called you. I was like, no, cheers. Um, mine. I thought of mine before. I would have to be Jaden Smith. No, that, that that's actually true. I could say it's quite guilty pleasure, right? Because so many people kind of actively hey, criticize are against him. Don't worry about this. We're not fucking doing anything here. Nah, nah. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Put him on last week. Put him on last week. Is this his? The 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 what the fuck are you doing, man? We're doing a fucking video. What the fuck? Hey, are you doing, it's man? a delivery boy. I'm joking, I'm joking. What's she doing, boy? What's she doing? He's not even told me what he's calling. Hello. What's up? Oh, can you go? You guys still the way out? Jaden Smith. No, no, no. Because I can understand. Like before, yeah. I got into Jaden Smith, I would have been like, "Come on, man, he's whack, he's corny." But you gotta remember, he's so young. When when I was at that stage, it's like he's 16. He's doing so much for a 16 year old. No, he's 18, 19. Yeah, bear in mind. I haven't now, listened to Batman yet. You haven't? Have, no. Dude, should we put it on now, friend? I mean. Oh, can I fucking finish my fucking point? <laughs> 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 Just fucking put on Batman. So Batman's an example of a song I think I fuck with heavy because I just on repeat for me. Um, it bangs for me, and I, a lot of people kind of would class that as a I don't know a song of maybe not too much substance. Jaden just fucking I don't know not creating anything too very creative. But um, what I heard from his father, Will, which I said to you before, is that mm -hmm. Jaden seems to have an incredible ability to not give a fuck mm -hmm. about other people's opinions um, and not let that dictate his actions, which is so rare or rather valuable mm -hmm. for someone who's so young. Mm -hmm. um, and so thus we see, you know, his misfits is his clothing company or his, his, his like music that. brand or something yeah. like that, mm -hmm. where he's able to put a lot of creative energy into and do some really different things to, you know, walking down a, I don't know, where he was with his dreads in his hand. Was that a fashion show? It was the Met Gala. Met Gala, right? Like mm -hmm. shit like that. Like, he's a, so he's a guy people love to shit on and love to be curious about. So Jaden Smith is my guilty pleasure. He actually, I think he has a lot of uh, talent, potential, and he's dropped some really, really good songs like uh, Fallen. Is that the music video he Fallen's did? Fallen's really good. Fallen's my, my favorite one from I also like the ones he did with um, Taku. Right. He did a like Check a those five, ones out. A five track. If you're not familiar and think, what the fuck, why you say like fuck Jaden, just check those two out, Fallen and the Taku one. Mm. I remember when we were doing the hip hop show a while and he dropped Fast. I think Fast was like one of the first things he ever Yeah, did. it was that really short track. It was like a minute long. Mm. 
and I listened to it and I was like, this is dope. And at first I was like, it was like, why drive so fast? Why drive so fast? Girl, where you gotta go? Girl, where you gotta go? And I was like, eh, that's all right. And then he got to the floor. He was like, usually you don't be bored. Da, 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 He's got a really good And I was just like, this is dope. And I sent it to you and you were like, Jaden Smith, bro? Like, really? I'm I didn't like, play like it, it then. Play it. You shouldn't yeah. even send him the name of the artist. You just said, oh, this is new. You know, he clicked on it. Mm. That's how you realized. Um, I reckon you're going to like Batman. Yeah. I think, because I, I like it. I don't, I'm not a big fan you of it. You are like it because I like it. You like it because I like it. I really don't word my words very You don't have to like it because the hood. <laughs> <laughs> um, the video was a bit cheesy, but I, I'd fuck with the video. No, I just, I just honestly feel that the type of hip hop that you like and the growth of Jane, I just feel like you can listen to you and be like, yeah. yeah, this is dope. I reckon, I reckon this is how you grew up. You'd be like, but is that, I feel like we're doing I reckon, yeah, actually, like, this is, you can cut this bit, but like. <laughs> Batman, Batman, Batman. I mean, we all love Drake and Future's Jumpman. That's the top comment. That's that's a, I like it better. That's the top comment on everything. I'm like a suck a dick. It's like, 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 it legitimately is like if Migos made Jumpman. Fuck it. Like, he did it well. He did it well. I understand. Did he not do it well? I, if I had to choose over Jumpman and that, I'd choose that. Same. Oh, I need to listen to Jumpman again. Let me. Jumpman's a good track. Jumpman has more energy. Jumpman has a lot more energy. Jumpman is like all the energy. Whereas this is just like that low key, like you said, that Migos sort of energy. That, the, thing, like, like, the thing about it is, is I don't, I don't dislike it. I just, I just didn't really like. I just didn't vibe it. But yeah. Like, I appreciate. I, I think he's more talented than that. He is. If, if being blunt, yeah. like, he has, like, he has a, a really, he has the ability to really do complicated flows and cadence, and I think he's wasted on that. Da 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 da. Da, 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 I think da. every artist has that, does yeah. that at least once, twice, three times. Yeah, well, it's, what, it's what's in the world. Well, that's why I'm excited. So, like, yeah. is the whole yeah. album that he puts out going to be like this, or is this going to be that one trick in the album that he just wants to I don't think it'll have be. that? I think it'll be all different. Yeah, I don't know, think knowing it. like knowing what we've seen from him so far. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm yeah. thinking. I'm thinking this is just that single that he just wants to just like yeah. you know, because there's still there's still it's meaning to that track. Single, you can't buy it. I like his eye for visual though. Like that video is really well made. I didn't like the video. <laughs> oh. But like in terms of like film oh, language and, yeah. like, and things like that and the wet angles he shoots at. And the lighting. Like, yeah. The point. Excellent. Yeah. Mm. I think he knows a lot of people who understand that mm. are better than him and he mm. just learns from them. But to go back to your, to what we're here for. Yes. <laughs> guilty pleasure artist. Oh uh, yeah. Um, little Uzi Vert. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. yeah I could easily just be looking at you like, Okay. <laughs> yeah, and you've done that to uh, uh, like, You, you, you put him on the car. But you did tell me today about the what the track means, XO to, to a life. Which I, I never knew, and it made me have a, a lot more of a, like it's appreciation. Power, it's on, I'm going to bring it up. It's on genius. Rap genius. Do you know what, you know what XO to a life means? No. You know, all my friends are dead. You know that's right? <laughs> no. It's like, all my friends no. are dead. Maybe it's like, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. You don't care? See, I, I like you, man. You don't, you don't give a fuck about Uzi Vert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some sort of disrespect. What the fucking echo? <laughs> I'm put disrespect to you. Yeah, man, yeah, Uzi. yeah. But low key, I think you're pretty cool, man. Uh, Exo to her life is about Uzi's relationship issues with ex girlfriend Brittany Bird and substance abuse. It's delivered over bassy and upbeat production, which is by, um, uh, I believe it's uh, TM88 from mm-hmm. uh, Southside. Cool. Cool. There we go. Um, it's uh, delivered of blah 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 a, a beat about suicide and betrayal ultimately it's a narrative mixed with strong emotional fights and so like so the legend so the um, perspective that he's talking to from when he says all my friends are dead is actually like the girlfriend's perspective so it's more like she's like lost all her friends and like she, like, she doesn't care anymore like she's like I don't care if you cry I don't care if you leave like all my friends are dead so you can push me to the edge but like if you just listen to the track you'd be like you wouldn't get it because it's just such a fucking. It's yeah. Is that common for him to rap with such lyrical substance? As an Uzi fan, you should. Or are we do, are we all just missing something? I think so. In a I lot think, of I his think, stuff, I think a lot of stuff <clears throat> is like. I think a lot of stuff gets caught up in the trap, kind of vibe, and like, and like even like things like even like that song you were right, which did really well. He's like, yeah, all right, all right, all right. You was right, I was wrong. Yeah, I never should have took her. Home. Like it's kind of, like it, like he's very kind of like he's very in his own head. And he kind of thinks about stuff like, and like, you never hear rappers thinking about, yeah, I should never have took that girl home. I made a mistake. It's always like, I oh, fuck that bitch. Like, you're saying he's done the former. Yeah, I say he's. I say he's like he's actually like thought about himself as a person, and like I like and like Uzi's like whole kind of like vibe is like I'm a weirdo, I'm an outcast, and yeah. nobody understands me. And it's and it's like and that's like common all through hip hop. Yeah, mm. do you know what I mean? But it, this is a very kind of new 
Well, exactly. He doesn't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, no, I think it's yeah. I like him. I like him musically. Um, his tape, um, Little Uzi versus the Perfect World. Love Tape. No, I can't remember what it's called. Uzi, Little Uzi. It's um, what's it's Scott Pilgrim versus the World. The name of the album is the name of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's Little Uzi versus the World because the artwork is designed the same for Scott Pilgrim, yeah. which is an amazing movie. Uh, yeah. So like, it, yeah, no, I think he's. I think he has a lot of to potential to offer, and like, um, actually, Ezra, Scott, um, dug up like old, like audio of him rapping before he decided to do the trap mumble thing mm. and apparently he's like got like a really strong flow but I was like I think he's got a strong flow now but you know he's my favourite of the littles of the, <laughs> new, of the new littles it's a lot of littles man yeah. I don't even know what my new favourite little is Yachty Little Tentacion oh. <laughs> I think so XX there's gonna, gonna be people on the internet right now man. like you know it's not <laughs> what it is <laughs> yeah I think XXX Tentacion is gonna become a a guilty pleasure for a lot of people, especially. I think more. he's a guilty pleasure. I now. think he already is. Yeah. You think so? Same, yeah. Like I said with Suicide Boys, his his fan base is just so strictly into him, and they push it so much that yeah. people are just like, "Oh, you're an XX fanboy. This is all you listen to." Yeah. Like same thing with Suicide Boys now, but Triple X more so. I think Triple X yeah. is for sure a guilty right. yeah, pleasure. Yeah, I think with X, there's like, there's three types of people with X. There's there's people who hate him. There's people who love him. People that don't know him. There's people this. who. No, I think most people kind of know who this dude is. Like they've seen the, they've They're seen becoming his, it. They're they've seen his mug too. shot. Or like they at the least know the line "Can't keep my dick in my pants." Do you haven't we haven't heard that? I haven't heard it. No. Have you not done "Look at me" yet? No. I heard it in your oh. car. Remember? And I wasn't, yeah. No, I wasn't. Phantom, I can't remember. Look at me. I'm gonna ruin the show. I don't even want to hear that. <laughs> no, I have no idea. Yeah. All right, cool. You all got any others? Where are we cool? Um, two chains. You got somewhere to be? <laughs> <laughs> this man spent his energy. Two chains! Getting that fart out. No, but a bit of. But, yeah, if you want to cover more, cover more. Yeah, I feel like two chains used to be a guilty pleasure. Like yeah, maybe around yeah. the sort of like the 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 boat back of like boats, number one. When you, but the, the album that went number one, like with No Lie, Birthday Song. I thought I feel like the like around that sort of time. Yeah. It was a guilty pleasure because people were like, oh, Titty Boys, no chains of two chains, he's featuring and everything, he's got his album out. Like, ah, but see, that's the thing. You knew him as Titty Boy. I did. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know that. So a lot of people just latched onto him as two chains. So well, I, was a, I was a big fan of um, Play the Circle, so... Yeah, exactly. So that, like, so you kind of like, like, followed that progression. My duffel bag, boy. <laughs> but a lot, of people oh, were, like, a lot of people would have latched onto him with, like, no... I think, I think that album... I think it's, it's, um, what is that album called? It's not Boats. Uh, the one it's, he did with Play the Circle? No, the one he did with... Uh, the one, it's, a, it's the red album cover, but it's, it's got No Lie on it and Birthday song. And, that was Boats, um, wasn't it? Because it was Boats and Boats too. I'm pretty sure it's boats. Yeah, it but that album, out. that album, I think really kind of broke him through. And then the Mercy mm. uh, verse. Oh, definitely. Well. Oh, that got me. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, we did this thing, man. Yeah. What is that? And now he's That's back. I also quite, I also quite liked him on um, 3500 as well with Travis. Yeah, Scott. that was good too. He had a good verse on there. So he's got. He, I just feel like his the way that he raps definitely fits certain songs. And even the new, the new song he did with Travis Scott called 4 AM, fucking yeah. bangs. I liked I him on um, No Problem as well. With Chan. Same, same. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He Pretty did nice his thing. Made his slow sort of tone yeah. definitely suited that song. Dope. Um, yeah. anything else? I feel like I should say a female rapper. Like there's a little couple of female rappers out there who maybe Oh I don't well, even know. Yeah, well I mean if you want to talk female rappers, like um I got two. And they're guilty two, pleasure. They're two different pers- Well, not, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'll be nasty, Chris I'll, I'll, I'll talk through. It. I, okay, three. I'll talk, <laughs> I'll, talk, I'll talk. through. I'll talk through it. Okay, so um, I like that Krayshawn song. Gucci, Gucci, yeah, Gucci, Gucci. I like that Krayshawn. I like that oh, Iggy is alien. Iggy. So I want to talk. That's about guilty pleasure. I want yeah. To, I want to talk all about right, you gonna have to talk about I this. I want to talk about Iggy. Okay, right. Jesus. Yeah, so me. I latched onto Iggy early. Mm-hmm. So I was Before like fancy? ignorant, ignorant art tape. Mm-hmm. Like okay. like early like uh, SoundCloud stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, Do you know what I mean? So like she was so like she was like my world pussy, like things like that. Um, Pre Ti, pre Ti, and I was like this chick's got something. Like she's got mm-hmm. she's like she's she's onto something. And then she linked up with Ti, and it fucking became fucked her fancy up. change your life mm-hmm. and black widow. Like I don't and her last album that dropped flopped, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It flopped trash. so hard. And then they got that song more bounce where she says more bounce one hundred and thirty seven times. 
<laughs> but like, but seriously, to go yeah. from like her album sold really like pretty well, her yeah. single sold really well. To go from that and only like what a two year gap for her next album to have yeah. like barely any promotion. Well, the thing, the, the thing, the, the moment she went downhill was a freestyle that she did on YouTube. That was Kendrick's, the, and it was it was yeah, it was a Kendrick beat. It was the she, one that Kendrick did in the Childish Gambino track. Yeah, and um and Kendrick's got the line where he says, "I'm a runaway slave," mm. and then so she did a verse and she ran, "I'm a runaway slave master." And you can't do that. No, because that's like, <laughs> like, like as soon as you do that, like every yeah. every black guys out there, like no, no way, they're just like. No. The and, the, fuck? and the thing was that she never drew any attention to like being white or anything. She just mm-hmm. kind of rapped and like did her thing on the first couple of tapes and stuff like that. She had, she had another. If she one never met Ti. Who you knew? I liked work. I think work ended up on the album, which I quite liked. But like mm. that was about it. But yeah, do you reckon no. she can make a comeback or not? No, she's done. Who are your other two then? Azalea Banks. Oh yes, everybody in the two one two, and then yeah, and then that was fire in like twenty twelve. I remember when two one two came out. Mm-hmm. That was one of my favorite tracks that year. Yeah. I fucking loved it, and I was like, "Fuck, she could do other stuff." And then she just never released anything I thought good. And then she just became Twitter famous for being just, just disrespectful. Beef. Just beef. And she still is. But the thing was like, so she, so the, so two one two was kind of the first thing we ever heard of her. And I was, mm-hmm. I was playing in clubs at the time, so I was like dropping stuff. And I remember dropping. Same, I was going out. I was loving that shit. Yeah, and that was like that was the song everyone wanted to hear every week. It was two one two, two one two, two one two. Um, and trivia fact for those who know, two one two is the area code for Harlem. Oh, where she's from? Um, yeah, where she's from. Harlem, uh, baby. Oh, it's cool because like, well, like it's cool when you like do something, and then you realize later on like. It, what the meaning of it is so like on so the first line of 212 is can you um, check the oh oh you're taking a good initiative man. <laughs> I've never seen him do it no, 62 to battery 9 minutes so what's interesting about 212 is the first one of the first lines in the song is on the uptown A and like I was kind of like I used to just kind of sing along mindlessly and just be like whatever but that's like it's a train transport yeah, yeah it's the it's the it's the, it's the, the subway uptown. in New York it's the uptown A which goes to, to Harlem to the Bronx and that was when I when I stayed in New York when I was traveling. That was the train to go home. Hmm. So every night I'd get the up ten A, and I like it didn't. I think it was like uh, like the second like last day I was there, and I was like I was in the two one two on the up ten A, and I was like oh, it's Harlem, <laughs> yeah, fair yeah. enough. It's really cool to make those connections. Yeah, and then so she did that, and she put on um, she put the nineteen ninety one EP out, which I still think is fantastic. Like it's like it's all kind of drum and bass, kind of deep house. Um, she yeah. worked, she did stuff with the prodigy. Like it was like she was oh, full on. I find it so weird how she just her the way her music dropped so heavily and just what it was. She was meant to be the next like, like as Nicki was blowing up at that point. She was meant to be the next Nicki Minaj. She was, and she had like even her videos, like her personality. Like before she went all disrespectful and ranty and stuff. Before that, like she actually what I saw her through interviews was just this person was very bubbly, yeah. very like intelligent, very into the art form and wanting yeah. to do more. And then all of a sudden. I know fantasy, what the fuck happened. It was fantasy mixtape. But the thing was, like, she was showing up 45 minutes to an hour late to every set. Yeah. And then she's like, you know, I'll turn up when I turn up. And it's like, nah, that's not how this works. And then so once like, you get famous for Twitter beefing for, like, two, three years, yeah. your career's over. Did you see the interview she did with Ebro? 97 in the morning? Nah, I didn't. She, and she cried. She was, I, and, like, and Ebro was really good about it. He was like, I can understand you're emotional about, you know, the, the way you think you've been treated. But, like, that doesn't mean you get to act disrespectful. It doesn't mean you get to act a certain way. Like racism exists, and you're very valid in your comments that you're making about racism. But the, you know, starting wars on Twitter and not showing up to gigs and not showing up to your job is no way to kind of combat that because yeah. nobody takes you seriously. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, "Well, it's not fair that you know Iggy Azalea is getting all these fucking attention. Iggy Azalea is turning up to work. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? She's turning up to gigs, and you're not getting booked because you're not getting booked because you're being like a math. You make yourself yeah. you're, because you're being mathy, which is fucking ridiculous. But at the same time, play the game." Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, like it, it's much better for her to get on the fucking lineup at Coachella and then make a speech about racism in the hip hop industry mm-hmm. than to be mouthing off on Twitter where no one can see it. Yeah. That got real. <laughs> that shit got real. All right. Well, that's our lineup of guilty rappers and some other tangent conversations. <laughs> Leave your motherfucking guilty rap pleasure shit below. In the comments. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Yeah, true that. We're just rambling. It Still got deep. That. It got deep. It feels good to just have a conversation. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. Just have That's a discussion. Um, please support us on, on Patreon or just at least follow us on social media if mm-hmm. you want to stay up to date on what we're doing behind the scenes. It is a good show. It, I have now watched an episode. We the best! <laughs> it was my episode. But <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. No, I, have, I know I do watch it. It's good. Hey, how'd you can't run? Put them 
Moon stood still stupidly With his hands, he came at me His cold skating fingers wrapped around my arm I tried to stay calm as he said You think you're tough now? You think you know it now? You think